Well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Handyman 406. My name is Kerry Martin. And anyways, we're going to show you the basics on how to make a wind generator blade, an exceptionally fast wind, gener wind generator blade that will uh, work very well with the alternator wind generators that I showed you how to build in some earlier videos of mine. You want to check those out. And uh, if you like this content, hey, please feel some feel free to subscribe hit that like button so on and so forth anyways let's get right into what we're doing here so I've made uh, some marks on a board this board is uh, four feet long by the way pardon the mess um, in my sh this is basically my workshop until I finish my workshop so anyways to get right at it here um, we've got just a one by four board four feet long and uh, you can make these longer um, but the dimensions have to go up proportionally I'll show you at the end of the video I'll show you a six foot blade that I made and the dimensions that I used on that so nominally so we got three quarters of an inch by three and a half inch they say one by four but in all reality it's more like three quarters by three and a half so I came in inch and a half here on the ends okay measure from the same side you know and <clears throat> come in inch and a half and I've just made a straight line from there to this line here and this line is an inch off of the center mark I just made a center mark come one inch off of both sides and that taper begins at the corner of that line up to the inch and a half mark on this side done that on both sides I'm gonna cut that right now and then I'll show you what to do next all right, so we've got that cut. Um, as you can see here, I just put a taper on it. And uh, so then the next mark you're gonna wanna make is from corner to corner. You're gonna put a mark on the corner. Remember this was one inch off the center line. And you're gonna put a mark, a straight edge line from there to this corner here, okay? Just like that on both sides. And the side we marked it on will give us a clockwise rotation. If you wanted to counter clockwise rotation, you'd mark it on the opposite side, okay? So, but both sides, corner to corner. All right, well, I sure hope the lighting's good enough in here. Anyways, uh, you know, I just made myself a little stick here, and all I do is I secured it in the vise, and you just basically, like I said, I secured it in the vise. <laughs> And then you just spring it and as you're working on it that gives you the stability that you need so I'm gonna be using a spoke shave this is the best tool for this you can use a draw knife I suppose we're gonna take this down to the line Okay, so hopefully you can see what I've done there. We've taken and we started out thin there. See, we're right to the line. And we just came right up and now it's, now it's thick. So, so far we've just gone straight lines, okay? If you remember, we made the straight line, we cut the taper, and then we went corner to corner in a straight line. And as we're cutting here, we're just cutting a straight line between this corner and this corner. I don't usually go all the way up against this corner because I'm gonna wind up rounding this slightly to make the airflow. Basically, this is at a greater angle than this right here. That's because this end is going to be traveling less distance than this end. The tip has to travel a greater distance in the circumference than the root of the blade. So greater angle here, less of an angle here okay so now gotta tilt this whole tripod and everything so pardon the sideways 
But this is, we just flipped the blade upside down. This is the back side of the blade we didn't work on yet. Underneath the part we worked on. So this, we're gonna just take it down to a knife edge right here. Okay, remember this was thicker down there, but we're gonna remove all this material on the top down to the bottom. And for the most part, we're gonna leave this intact. All right, so another straight line and a straight plane. Okay, so you can see the starting of that. What we're gonna want is this airfoil to sort of go like that. And we're gonna wanna relieve that edge just a tiny bit. And now you can see what we're what we're going for. So that's sort of that's sort of the look that we're gonna be taking. And this and is a little thinner because we took a little bit more off the top here. And this down here is the full width. All right, so we're almost there. Gonna need to take that sharp edge off. We're gonna round that over. We're gonna make it more like that. Just the tip of that corner rounded over. It'll help a lot in the airfoil. Okay, so as you can see, that's the basic shape. All right, we wanna maintain that shape the best we can all the way down. And now the only thing left to do is carve the other side and we'll show you how to balance it. Both sides all carved out. And uh, got our airfoil. Okay, and uh, you know the trailing edge of this, you really want to bring it to a knife point. You don't have to do that right at this point, I mean you can wait until uh, the sanding stage, <clears throat> but you really do want that to be a knife, a knife edge, okay? So to balance, very easy. We just put it right here on the center line, and we just... Uh, We just take and we put a, a point right there in the center line and actually that's never happened ever before. But that balance is just about perfect. Now if it were going to one side, we would take a little bit of material with our spoke shave, you know, just a couple four or five licks off of one side or the other, whichever side it's not balanced on. In fact, I'll purposely bring it out of balance just a hair. Hopefully this will do it. Okay, yeah, you see that? I just took a few licks off the one side. Now let's take a few licks off of this side. Okay, we didn't take off too much. So what do we got there? There it is. Now you see how sensitive that is. Now that's a perfect balance. When you're done sanding it, balance it again. Maybe you have to sand a little bit extra on one side. And that's pretty much it, folks. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you got any questions, you can put them in the comments. Um, I may be doing a giveaway on this. I don't know. Um, if you're interested in having this, put your comments in the below, and maybe I'll do a little raffle or something, and uh, we'll see how that turns out.
But uh, again, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Okay, looks like we're almost out of battery, so I better make this fast. Anyways, this is that six footer I promised you. And uh, the only difference here is it's, um, wish I knew how thick that was. I think this is an inch and a quarter, okay? And uh, about a one inch would be fine for a six footer. And I've actually made them out of three quarter. This is three and a half inches wide. It's the same width as this one, okay? And I've made them five footers out of the same three quarter inch material. But a five footer ideally should be one inch material. This should be ideally inch and a quarter material. This should ideally be three quarter and so on and so forth. And I've made my 10 footers. Um, I used to make those out of inch and a half, two by six. So that's five and a half by inch and a half nominal. Cut them to 10 foot length, do the exact same process you saw me do. And it works almost any length. I've made 20 footers the same way. I had to glue a bunch of two by fours together to do that though. I think they were three and a half, those blades were three and a half inches thick. Quite a bit more involved. Anyways, like I said, um, thanks for watching.